This is a real quick video response to Bar Nun's video about uh, what has happened in Afghanistan recently with that soldier that went crazy and killed people. I think that we need to look at things more broadly. Um, you know, Iraq and Afghanistan, yeah, maybe bin Laden was hiding there at one point earlier on in the war, but, you know, for the majority of the time, he was hiding away in Pakistan. And the majority of the people that uh, attacked us on 9-11... Uh, all came from uh, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, you know, is considered one of our allies. Uh, right after 9-11, a lot of the Saudi royal family members that were in the United States and top officials were quickly put on a plane and, you know, taken out of the country because they thought that people would, uh, you know, do reprisals against them for the attacks. So, you know, Afghanistan, I mean... We should have learned what, what, what the Russians learned is, uh, you know, they'll bankrupt you and you'll be fighting them forever because, you know, it's a very mountainous region and they'll fight you forever. You know, much like Vietnam, they were willing to fight for the last woman and child and, you know, the same thing in Afghanistan. Um, and whether we leave now, whether we left earlier or leave 10 years from now, the, the result is still going to be the same that they're going to have a weak government and a lot of the former, you know, Taliban people and uh, bad elements that are fighting us there now still are going to come back. And so now they're older. They, they know that we're leaving in 2014. So all they got to do is just wait it out. So, you know, we should have never have been there for a long period. I mean, as soon as we killed uh, bin Laden, there's no reason to, for us to stay there. Um, and, you know, you never hear in the media that, them talking about how, you know, the majority of the people came from Saudi Arabia because, you know, we have Iran as our enemy and Syria and we can't have, you know, all the oil rich nations as our enemy because, you know, if, if God forbid they ever uh, unified against us, that would screw our, uh, our cheap gasoline uh, type of situation. So, you know, I, I just want to stimulate the discussion a little bit and I'd like to hear people's points of view on why we never hear about, you know, Saudi Arabia and their role um, in the terrorist attacks of 9-11. Because uh, recently I was reading an article that um, there, there are families from, from, uh, from people that lost uh, loved ones in 9-11 that are suing the Saudi government because uh, they played a role uh, and some Saudi government officials played a role in uh, plant plotting and uh, funding the attacks. So, um, you know, it wasn't just Bin Laden, you know. Um, obviously, we like to, to have a centralized figure that we can all hate and go after, but I think it's a little bit more complicated than that because a lot of these Arab nations, you know, with uh, installed princes and dictators, you know, they might be the front that, you know, like Ahmadinejad, he's the leader, but, you know, he's not the real leader. It's the people behind him that are pulling his strings that are the, the real culprit. So, you know, state-funded terrorism is not something new. It's been going on for a long time. Uh, you know, Hamas and Hezbollah has been funded by Syria and Iran for a long time. So, you know, it's just the way it goes. So I think people need to look at things more broadly, and uh, we should just get the hell out of Afghanistan. And uh, if if they're hell-bent on killing each other there, then let them have at it, like any, any one of these countries. The only reason why we should be in any country is if we got attacked by someone, if, if our citizens were put in danger or killed. Otherwise, uh, you know, I'm not an isolationist. I think if people are suffering and they're begging for help, we should try and help them. But if people don't want us to be there in the first place, there's no reason why we should be. So uh, I'd like to hear people's opinions on my thoughts, uh, whether you agree, disagree. Um, this is a very interesting topic. Thanks, guys.